Is that a shoot? That's a shoot. Um, why do we keep seeing so many patient rooms? This is, yeah, this is, mm, it's not. I think something. Was Ariane hospitalized? Red disc. The whole thing about how she had falling out teeth and white hair. That's not normal, right? That's not normal. I'm just thinking it makes no sense that we keep seeing so many hospital rooms interspersed between apartments. Why would that... Is that actually what Rodfront was like, or are we just crazy? Oh, it's a dentist. Because that makes sense. Wait. Oh, but it's, it's blocked off here. Wait, where is this? Oh, this goes back. Oh, okay, so we can open that from the other side. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Can't carry anything here. Oh, but this this would have been such a good one to open, but we can open the one below. No biggie. Excuse me. I would like for you to please interact! Please! Seriously? We have the red disc, we can go back. If we go back that way... We potentially have to go past the storch again, which I don't want to. If we go back this way... If we go back this way, we can open that door. No, either way, we have to open the doors first. I think it might be best... Yeah, if we go back the other way, the safe room is actually closer, but this, the floppy disk room is this way. Can I open this but not go through? Will you please? Oh my lord! Okay! Uh, bleeding a little bit, just a little bit. It's not, it's not that big of an issue. Actually, I don't even have a... I better go. Yo, that shield guy. Okay, this room has a storage too. Oh. Damn you. Damn you. Oh, you know what? The storage. I want to use a thermite on it, but it's not clear enough to me where the storage is. Do you think I should do it anyway? I might want to clear rooms that are... Is this room... Well, how often will we come back in? It's a small room. It's a quick room. Leave it alone for now. Now, there are definitely people down there, so I am okay with going to the safe room first. That is totally okay with me. The disc. There might leave it alone for now. Are we good? We chill. I'm orange, so this is only gonna bring me back to yellow. Hmm. Let's stop for a second here. Let me just cool down. What do we need? We can bring the disc back to the computer. We can open the commercial corridor. There's also a second door there that we could try opening. That one... We have to get into the photo store. In the upper floor. Magpie box is a mystery. Butterfly room. There's a Elster lock. That's also a mystery. Tarot cards. We need tarot cards. Maybe we gotta go this way. But there's a there's someone coming out of the walls and uh, there's just so many people. Le leave me alone, people, please. Where are we? Which one's... Hold up. This one. I 
think I'm carrying too much. Well, the revolver ammo is just one, one ammo. But the stun prod... Eh. We could try to run down the corridor. Let's do it. Oh, there's a piece of... Shoot! Go! Oh my god. Okay, there were more people there than I expected, and there was also a note there. That's the... Uh! Do you want to read the note? Okay. Oh, but now they're stuck there. I can't really get past them. Okay, that's uh... You know what? We could also try dropping from above. You know that one hole that I didn't look at yet? Oh, the red eye. The red eye. Hmm, it's like a magazine name. There exists a strange folklorish idea in many sectors of Rotfront related to pareidolia, the tendency to see meaningful images and random patterns, like seeing a face in an ink blot or letters in a smudge of dirt. It is well known that the so-called red eye is simply an anticyclonic storm produced by a high-pressure region in the atmosphere of Rotfront's planet. Yet for some of the early settlers of Rotfront, this natural phenomenon became symbolic of their struggle and way of life. That red spot in the sky became a perfect metaphor for the ever-present surveillance by the protectors in the tight grip of the central government on Heimat. Even today, the idea of an unblinking watchful eye observing their every move still resonates strongly with the people here. Kinda like Big Brother's watching you. During the celebration of Monfest, oh, the moon, the red eye, Monfest at the end of each season, capital S, Adult citizens will sometimes give students ration marks that have been dipped in red paint. Officially, the red paint is said to represent the blood of those who have died in the revolution. But the red coins share an eerie resemblance to that red eye. Or is this just pareidolia too? Should you ever receive one of these red eye ration marks, remember to clean off the paint with acetone or a similar paint thinner. Spending or regifting paint-covered coins is considered to bring bad luck. Another thing we need acetone for? We used it up already though, the one that we had. So, maybe not this time. Yeah, okay. We could try going down the hole. Mm, I'll use this now. And pick this one up. you're all happy. But I don't think it'll go anywhere that we don't know about, though. Maybe it's just supposed to be a quick way to... Yeah, let me just make sure. We already unlocked the other way. Yeah, so it's okay. Wait. It's yellow. I think we'll be okay. It's unlocked. Where are we now? Garbage. Oh, the garbage chute! Right, a quick way for us to get back down. That's nice. Okay. We'll use the floppy disk. One safe place. That one corridor where everyone got flared and all that. We can also check on that whole magpie thing again. The one on the blue disc. First of all, isn't it really strange for a computer to have two slots for a floppy disk, A and B? Use red diskette. Metabank. People, bunch of people. Oh, some names we recognize. Okay. Gabrielle Eng, born on Rotfront, 
Occupation, construction worker, retired, medical history. Oh, this is where we're gonna get the code to go into the, the bookstore, right? But we should probably read everything anyway, just in case. Mm -hmm. The silhouette kind of looks like one of the replicas. Oh. Kind build. Kind means no. No photo. Roswita Fong. It's got a nation on her forehead. Replica technician. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Patient is forgetful about her medication. Well, if you're a patient, it means that you have some medical problem. Waltrod Gao. Irritative bronchial asthma, did not react well to antibiotics. Erika Ito. <sighs> See, it's not like the previous ones where there's no photo. There is a photo, but it's corrupted. I think we've seen this before too, back when Adler was chasing Isa. Uh, they were born on Veneta, so the last six digits has to do with their birthday. Let me write this down. Five, six, let me just make sure, wait. Isa Isol? Okay, five, six, zero, five, two, four. Okay, I got you. Born on Veneta, university student. Hmm. Very active in sporting activities. Sprained ankle. Yeah, no big medical illness. Also, oh, this part's the name. Just trying to compare. Shop assistant. Medical history. Minor fracture, left shin, double fracture, right arm. Major laceration, forehead. What happened? Regularly treated for small lesions, very prone to accidents. That kind of makes me feel like someone's abusing her. But small, small lesions, major laceration. Her bangs conveniently cover up whatever's going on there. Reminds me of the replica line across the face too. Okay. I'm guessing yeah, the, the main thing here was the birth date, but we'll keep looking. Alright, Co. Katesh, mechanic, remove doctor's notes. Saskia Lee, rot front, bronchial infection. Bronchial problems for a lot of people here. Breathing problems? Rebecca Liang, glasses. Biologist, sinus infection. What? Medical history, sinus infection, doctor's notes, antidepressant ration was doubled. For sinus infection? Or do you just mean that she happened to have a sinus infection in the past? Hmm, maybe something to do with her job then. Something is making her very depressed, some knowledge. Nikolai Nguyen? Writer? Thoracic back pain. Claims to be unable to take part in communal morning exercises. Claims. <laughs> may not actually be uh, a man, uh, kind of uncommon around here. Oh, I didn't even see this one. White hair. Kind of eerie having a frontal photo just now, just having her look at me kind of scared me a little bit. Lang. She was born on Lang, rot front, radio officer. Medical history, insomnia, bruising, premature, acromo, ac acromo, Trichia? Remove notes. What is this? Oh, is it the whitening of the hair? Something color related? It doesn't sound like... Because we know that her hair has been turning white, her teeth have been falling out, she can't sleep, she wants to kill herself. The medical history just doesn't seem like it's really involving all of that. Siegfried Yi. Cleaner. Another bronchial problem. Contact dermatitis. Repeated contact to chemical irritants during work. Okay. We should download it. Ah, that's why I didn't have to write it down, because I can download these things. But that's okay. Now we can get in. Um, this antenna thingy. I did do it right, right? 43? 
I didn't try the other one. 125. 210. It is magpie. Should I try it again? I mean, we have to, right? Like, we're... It's not 43 that we're trying. That's the number of the dish. We want to do... 125 or 210. Ugh. I can try to go back to the box and do 210. It sounds really similar though. Alright. Well, now we can go to the store. Gonna be okay? Let's hope so. And then we can also check that the... Was it at the commercial corridor? Yeah, so we can check that the door is actually opened up. Never mind, we're not checking anything. <laughs> and that's what I meant when I thought we killed them a little bit too early. 560524. Oh, It's locked. It's been locked, so I don't expect there to be any creatures in here. Lied? Song of the Gods. Banned books. Possession and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by the Fourth Cultural Protection Act. That's a page in the book? A page in the book says it's banned? Or maybe it's like a little leaflet stuffed inside. There exists a connection between all of us that few are fully aware of. A song that we all dance to, but few can hear. This deep vibration of the cosmos cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Though a select few who can consciously perceive it often fear it. Too oppressive is the sound of the stars, too invasive the noise of the unaware around them, polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born that can not only hear and play this music of the worlds, but who can conduct it. Gifted individuals, capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. This might be related to the whole concept of bioresonance then. We had the other note about gifted people who are controlling the, the replica technology. The connection between all of us, the thing that's allowing Alina to have memories of Ariane, the thing that allows Falk to dream of a white-haired girl, maybe even the thing that allows Adler to remember things. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. Empress! Her immense will bent humanity into the empire of Yuzhen and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants, Replica, that now carry the weight of the empire on their carbon steel backs. A power that imbues life into Replica. Would Ari Yan be such a um, gifted individual then? Because if we all... I need to read it again already. <laughs> if we all have a power... Song of the Gods. You know, the fact that they put a band notice on it makes it even more suspicious, because without it, people could just be like, oh, this is some folklore, this is just, I don't know, a nice poem or something. Gifted individuals capable of manipulating essence of the world around them. There's no, no doubt Ariane is special. Everyone seems to be dreaming of her for some reason. I couldn't find her. I've looked everywhere. But she's not here anymore. I can't go on. I'm sorry. Oh my god, it's that same pose.
Isa. Oh! Forgive me. Oh my god. You know, back in the fake ending cutscene with a row of people, the Ariane, Alina one, one of them in between, I thought the clothing looked a lot like what Issa wore. But then I also thought, why would that make any sense? But then just now we had that shot of them staring off to the left side, which was exactly the same as what we saw with Alina and Ariane. I... <laughs> she came back to look for... Wait! But we were on the Sierpinski! This is Rodfront, how is Isa here? I guess it's not a given that whatever we're seeing here is chronologically after what we saw before. A photograph of Isa wearing a school uniform. Is old, Isa. She has a mole. This is not. Oh, we should have worked together harder. Oh. The picture is badly damaged. Erica. But even this whole setup is like a, a shrine for deceased people. I think Erica's been gone for a long time. Even these two photos are mirrored. But Isa, this was built before Isa died. A tarot card depicting the 13th major arcanum, death. Wait, the picture of it. Is that like what we usually see on a normal tarot card or is it more like a... Because it kind of looks like a replica, the uniform thing. Mm. I've been clicking around. I don't think there's any descriptions here. That's it. Oh my god. What is the difference though? Why do, why do some people wither? And why do some people remain? Not something that I'm entirely clear on. Anyway, I don't think there's any information here. I feel like some gears are spinning in my head, but I don't know what to make of it. Mmm... That shot of Isa looking like Ariane and Alina immediately made me think about how her her mission is very similar to mine. She came to look for somebody. Same as Alina. Alina went to look for Elster. I'm looking for Ariane. Isa's looking for Erica. But what does it all mean? Yeah, there's gonna be people outside. Hopefully we'll never have to come back here again. I think it's a bit of a stylistic choice maybe, but whenever we meet somebody, or most of the time anyway, not for the, the Mina named Bio, but we never really introduce ourselves. We're not like, hi, I'm Elster, who are you? And Isa, for her? It's her first time seeing this Elster, right? Because we look different from before, but there was never any sort of hesitation in just randomly telling her story to the person that she's seeing. Maybe because it doesn't matter because she was about to weather away anyway. But it's all very making me feel like... Maybe she's one of the people that know that we are all interconnected in some way. Okay, 
Well, I, um... Now what? Want to go back and try the... Um, magpie thing again? We could. Although I'm not a fan of going to the apartment, because the, st <laughs> the storage has a tendency of waking up pretty often. How many tarot cards do we have now? One, two, three. Just three. We need some developer fluid and a whole bunch of stuff left and right. Hey, let's go back to the magpie box. Don't. Thanks. No! Should probably take this now. I suppose. It's health though, we could just leave that lying around too. Okay, 210. Really? Oh! Okay. Store key. Damn you! Star. Okay, then I'm not sure why it didn't work. Why 210 and not 125 then? Well, I don't know. Whatever. It works now. That's fine. <sighs> oh, a metal key labeled Young Photo Store. Star. 17th Major Arcanum. Photo store. We should go... To the left. To the right. I don't know my directions. I was hoping you could go down the hole. This is fine. This is fine. So, surprisingly, another tarot card already. Once we bring it back to... wherever the hell we're supposed to bring it back to, was it the patient 512 room? I don't know how we're gonna be able to know what order. Maybe once we flip that light, there's gonna be some... ultraviolet stuff. Okay, somebody is awake here, we know this. Young photo. Leave it alone for now. Developer fluid. Photo fix. Hmm. Somehow not surprising to see once we saw the previous... the quick flash. There's some words on this one. Names! Alina! It says Alina on the side. People's Army, 5th Benetton Infantry Division, Unit 12. Anna Huang. Oh, we saw a Huang. Oh, there's also a Wong there. Hold on. <laughs> Anna Huang, Helena Sub. Lilith Ito. Helena Wong, Elise Ng, Naburga Park, Birgit Fukuyama, Rebecca Liang. These are all Asian last names. So that means the Elster Neural Pattern person has to be one of these names then. Uh, Ito is sticking out to me, but Lilith Ito? I want to say Ito is not especially a uncommon Japanese last name, but you know, we're playing a, we're playing a video game, so there's a reason why it's the same last name. Lilith? I mean, Lilith in itself is a very loaded name too. Biblical reference and all that. Are we not picking it up? There's some other photos behind it too. There's a person with glasses. And of course, this is the photo that we had the whole time while we were trying to look for Alina and Ariane. The same pose, except the side was always blocked off. That's it. We came here to find developer fluid.
Yeah, I thought the developer fluid picture might have been the picture that we just saw, but we just saw it, so... I guess now we find out what it actually is. Where are you? Did we just stick the fluid in? A bottle with photographic quick developing fluid. Develops and fixes photographs in seconds. Simply soak the undeveloped photo in the fluid. Fixes? You can fix broken photos? Oh my god. The photograph that was inside the developing tank. A QR code. Oh, for the packet thing! The photo shows some kind of digital dot matrix code. I wonder what kind of machine could process this code. That room is... I'm sorry, I don't remember where... <laughs> where was that room again? I thought it was like in the commercial... Corridor? Okay, I actually don't remember where it is. Here. Oh, it's to the... It's right to the left of us. Okay. Were there people here again? I'm pretty sure there were. Okay, this is my- this is my biggest pet peeve so far. Just trying to find how to open the freaking. I'm trying to like- because it only works at a certain distance away or something. Peaceful, nice and peaceful. Photograph, here. It means I get to pick up a package. The sun. Okay, that definitely looks like a replica or somebody we know, right? Hexagonal sun thingy. Leaving. I've been found out. I'm sure the white-haired girl working at the photo store in Sector C is bioresonant. Mmm, be careful. They don't pay me enough to take any more risks. I'm on the next ship to Kitesh tomorrow. Meet me at the docks in Sector N if you want the bail too. Sun. Being bioresonant is something that makes people scared. Okay, but I think being white-haired, the whole bullying scene back at school, kids are awful, especially high school kids. That already made her stick out. These two things might be linked, being bioresonant and having white hair. What does it really mean though? Sun, someone using a code name. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm pretty sure there were some items in some rooms that I didn't pick up yet. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Or, how about we just don't care about them? Totally valid, wouldn't you say? <laughs> um, I'm gonna need to take multiple trips to bring this over, aren't I? But just to confirm, we have sun. We have lovers. No, we have five. We don't have six. We needed six, right? What have I not done yet? Oh, the lock! The... Um, the other lock that initially said Elster on it? That means that we know the password already? I can't think of anything where we learned the password. Um... Four letter... Any four- Dude, everything is four letters. L-S-T-R-E-U-L-E. -E. All of the replicas are four letters long, so that's not really that helpful. Uh, the mural. Okay, why don't we just try to bring the tarot cards? 
Because we need to bring multiple trips anyway, so let's just bring a few up there and see if we can figure something out. Yeah. Maybe I misremembered. Maybe we only need five. Fat chance, but... What the hell? Yeah, that wasn't like that before. Hey, I had two repair patches in there. Are you serious? That's new. In a bad way. How do I know which thing is corresponding to what? Ah. Oh. The moon cycle business. Um, if we have all six down here, well, I'm just gonna put it down because we need to bring it here eventually anyway. Maybe just the cycles of the moon. Anyway, um, it doesn't seem like we can go through the shortcut anymore unless if we want to go through the dark apartment, which... I mean, frankly, I'm not a fan of. I'm just trying to think. The lock. The moon mirror. I think the tarot card is what's gonna help us unlock the moon mural, right? The moon mural is the last thing. Is there something more at the computer? The dot is white. Let me... Let me have a look around in the think. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll bring the other ones here while we're at it. Is it... Aeon? Hold up. They do exist in here. Oh! What the hell? Are these grenades? Moon. Oh! Wow! Did you see how that worked? Oh my goodness. You know how- <laughs> Pareidolia. We just read about it in the- Was it the bookstore? The tendency to see meaningful patterns in non-meaningful links of images or whatever. If you look in the butterfly wings, a E O N I thought it was suspicious that there were four butterfly wings in a room where we needed a code with four digits or letters but damn that's a tricky one If we found the book before we came here that probably would have made it a little bit more obvious Anyway that should be our last tarot card Uh things have begun changing around here you know how we saw that gigantic stack of meat earlier? So I was thinking of... I tried going this way. And then it turns out there's a gigantic stack of meat in here as well. So the left side and the right side right now are completely blocked off. Which means if I want to go back to the patient room, we've got to wrap back all the way around. People outside are pretty mad at me right now, so hopefully we'll be able to make it out okay. Okay, it's been a while. They got less mad. That's why the shoot exists, probably. I did also start picking up all the repair sprays that I had been leaving around. Because I think we're getting pretty close to... ...getting the heck out of here. What the hell? The light well above has been consumed by the mass of meat. Releasing some debris that was caught in the nets above. That's an Elster. <sighs> Just when I was feeling good about getting somewhere, I'm not sure if I should be feeling good anymore. The meat, the flesh is. <sighs> feels like reality is breaking down, really. Okay, let's bring some repair stuff just in case then. We don't know what's gonna happen. Bring the blue one. I know we have a lot. A large metal ring with cutouts on the front and back. It looks like it fits into some sort of clock-like mechanism. Okay. 
Hmm... We should be okay. I know I have a lot on me right now, but we're gonna go solve the puzzle. The reason why they blocked off the left and the right is probably because they wanted to force you to walk to the main lobby area and see that dial ring. And the massive flesh. There were two repair patches in that room though. Never picked it up. Okay, I just stuffed them all down randomly. Right now. Uh, do we want to go like in the cycle of the moon? The moon? Or the red eye? Who knows? So we we have five already down here. Mm, I want to see what the last one is. Is it nothing? Moon. A tarot card depicting the 18th major arcanum. Moon. Red. Right. Probably... Ooh. I might have made things really bad for myself. Because I can't switch. <laughs> I, um... Yeah, I need one more slot to be able to um, switch out. Hold up. Alright, alright. So death should be here then, I guess? Like, I'm assuming we're going in order of how big the moon gets, but then the- this one should be in- down in the middle here, right? Actually, I'm not so sure. Lovers. Uh, well that ain't it. Star? Star here? That seems like a really big chunk, though. Do I not know how this moon cycle works? Am I just... These two seem the same, don't they? These two chunks are the same. How am I supposed to... Okay, wh what I was thinking was it's like an eclipse thing, but... Doesn't this seem like it's not working out as an eclipse? Oh, the way that moon is right there. Okay, well, well, this is obviously not right. Do the knights correspond to the moon? 19th night. I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Buyan. I'm looking at the diary next to the thing right now. There's five pages because on one day, there isn't a moon. I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Buyan. Okay, so, well, to begin with, Booyan. It should be... The sun then. Does that make sense? Wait, this one says I embrace my lover. So Katesh. Katesh. We're not just looking at the moon. Sometimes it could be at the actual contents of the tarot card maybe. I was a worker in the mines of Lang. As a storm raged in the sky, I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Veneta. The tower? Veneta is the tower. Does that mean that... Oh, and then the Lang one is the mines. Somebody got consumed by the, the flesh in the mines. But nothing, nothing might happen. Because I think what we're supposed to do is bring these moon phases back to the mural downstairs. So what I have to do is confirm this is right. Okay. Well, let me, let me just do some more double checking here because I don't want to make a mistake and have to do this again. Hold up. Lover, Katesh. Consumed, Lang, death. Yes. My mind joined the collective of flesh, which persists beyond death. Veneta, tower. 
sunless sea rot front, the moon's dark core. The lack of a sun means there is a moon. The moon card. Burning eye in the sky, the sun. Oh, you know, it doesn't actually have anything to do with the moon phases, as far as us putting the tarot cards down, because all of these use the meaning of the tarot cards. It's just that earlier I made the association of the red eye with the moon that made me think it was related. But no, because this is actually talking about the sun symbol, not the full moon phase. Okay. Um, I think I have it correct now. Okay, well, time to go then, right? I think we just leave it here. And we should probably make a good save before we go anywhere. This corridor is my only salvation. Bring out some big guns. I only have seven revolver ammo right now. I don't know, man. <laughs> Might be a little bit overkill. Do I have any more revolver ammo? How about we go back to the shotgun for a little bit? Whenever we have a crowd, a crowd control weapon is always a little bit nicer. Oh, um, I... Mm, if I bring the dial ring, I'm not gonna have space. Well, we'll see. I feel like we'll probably need it soon. Okay, here we go. Please, have nothing- oh, equip the gun first. But please, nothing bad happened, okay? But this Elster wasn't here when we first came, I'm pretty sure. It just randomly- oh, I don't even want to think about it. Okay. Let me look at my picture. Booyan is the full moon. Let's start there. Booyan- oh, I already have it. Booyan full moon. Heimat is... The blue is the moon, right? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. The blue is the lack of a moon. The yellow is a moon. So actually, this one should be like this. Veneta is the same as Heimat. Rot front is nothing. What? Why does that one need a dial ring? Oh, because it doesn't have a dial ring. But it's not a puzzle because they just gave me the dial ring right here. Uh, they want me to highlight rot front for some reason. Okay, Katesh? No. Here? And then Lang? Lang is like that. Last but not least. Rot front. <sighs> We're crawling through a hole again. Oh, it's back to the... <gasps> I didn't look around before. It's locked. It requires a key. I think it requires more than one key, <laughs> judging by the amount of locks. The national flag. It's meaningless. The Germany... Germany flag color base? Black and white pictures of the paintings Ariane used to make. Y you're recognizing that these are Ariane's paintings? Ariane was into music and painting. Old Imperial serials. Ariane loved reading these. Ariane, in a lot of ways, was the odd one out. 
Not even just physically, but her interests, the things that she was good at. Because she was raised with her mother, away from everyone else. Textbooks on radio operation. These used to belong to Ariane's mother. Oh, you know what? I realized that one text that we read about um the niece and all that, that was Ariane's aunt, right? Not uncle, because we read uh, in the previous, one of the first person scenes where we went to the radio station, there was a letter from the aunt. There is no hole. There is no hole. The door won't open... yet. Yet! A light switch. I don't need to turn off the light. An old wooden wardrobe. Ariane used to keep her clothes in here. You know all these things. Okay, these are things that... Unless if you've seen it firsthand, you wouldn't say it like that. If, if I'm Elster, and Ariane, my lover, told me, Hey, you know, back in this place that I used to be at, I kept my clothes in the wooden wardrobe, I would say, Ariane told me she used to keep her clothes in here. But she, this is so matter of fact. And the chances of Elster having seen this wardrobe would be low too, because they met on the Penrose, didn't they? The computer screen is blank. It can stay that way. Thanks. Ariane's a radio officer. Just like her mother. Wait, wait, can I look at the radio? Which one is the, the real thing we're looking at? Ariane's old radio transmitter. It's still transmitting. Transmitting a call for help. A call for me to wake up and remember my promise. The last seal has been broken. The picture, three stars and the, a moon in the back. It's time to go home. Auntie's note. Ariane, I left some of yesterday's dinner in the fridge for you. You can warm it up when you get back from school. Please pick up the books your uncle ordered from the Ito bookstore on your way home. Oh, okay, there was an uncle. Remember to leave some space in your school bag for them this time so they don't get wet. Okay, okay, aunt, I will. I will leave some space in my school bag. In fact, it's empty right now. Okay. I lost my flashlight. Okay, that is... No, no, I, I, I know my intuition. Let's, uh... 20 ammo! Okay. Alright, All right, I got you. I understand. Rawfront, Aeon. Workforce assignment for young Ariane. We have been informed that your compulsory military service period was recently completed. According to our files, you have previously graduated from Manobrod Polytechnical High School in Ruffin Sector C on R34.59C. Yeah, that's their date system. I don't know what the C means. And have recently submitted an application for a military service assignment, Penrose Program. You have been processed by Aeon Workforce Assignment, Previous Work Experience, Store Clerk at the Photo Store Part-Time, Compulsory Military Service at Ruffin Orbital, Long Range Radio Operations Officers Training Should you not be accepted by a military service program by the end of the season, or find other employment, you will be assigned the following workplace. Stierpinski, Production and Mining Facility on Lang. She was born on Lang. Very curious. Because obviously these are places that we've been to. Like, Stierpinski is a place that we've spent a lot of time on, but it's saying 
you will only go here if you're not accepted into military service, which we know Ariane was. And yet, we spent the bulk of our time in Sierpinski. If we think about the time loop stuff, there's some small deviations in each time loop, right? Of course, because we've been seeing dead Elsters in the elevator back there, but we also saw some Elsters here, which means Elsters on their journey to fulfill their promise. Depending on their luck or whatever other factors, their journey ends at different endpoints, which seems to imply that there's some variation in these so-called time loops. And it kind of makes me wonder if this means that there were time loops where Ariane didn't do military service and came here. Which also doesn't make sense though, because I feel like Elster meeting Ariane has to be a constant. Because otherwise, why are we trying to fulfill the promise, right? But now I think about Alina. Alina looking for Elster. Actu I mean, actually, even we were looking for Alina. We were trying to fulfill a promise with Ariane, but when we first woke up in the bathroom, our photo of Ariane turned into a picture of Alina, who does work at the facility. <sighs> My head hurts. My head hurts. Ariane Young? Letter from Mother. My dearest Ariane, I'm so glad to hear you're feeling better again. I was very worried when I heard from your aunt that you're in the hospital again. I still remember how you used to get sick so much as a child. Please don't overexert yourself, okay? The photo you sent me is very interesting. What a strange coincidence that she looks so much like you. You could be twins. Perhaps she is related to us somehow, though I don't know anyone named Sa in our family. From the looks of it, it was shot on Veneta. Ariane directly knew about it? The photos? We never get a chance to compare it in-game because we never get to hold the both of them. But it's not even just about the composition of the photo being the same. Those people look the same. The people look the same. Your military service will begin soon, so you might be wearing a uniform like her soon enough. Please send me a photo when that happens. Love, Mother. They made it a point to give Ariane a Chinese ancestry last name and Alina a Korean one. To say that they're not related. Beyond, like, I mean, pff, unless if you call being Asian related. Hmm. She knew. Some people know about how things here are strange. Some people don't. Ariane very clearly is someone who does know about what's going on here. Let's have an auto-injector today. Does that sound good? I think now would be a ripe time for the rifle as well. I don't know what's gonna happen, but... The pistol? 20 bullets on the pistol. 22 versus revolver. 7 bullets. I actually feel like the revolver bullets might be better. Thermite? Oh my god, I want to bring everything. I want to bring everything. Hey, let's load up. Load up. <laughs> load up. I can't even carry that many. Okay, we don't need the auto injector then. Because we can pause in the menu anytime. That's fine. Um, rifle. Rifle. Maybe good to have the shotgun and you. Oh, the submachine gun is. Whatever, man. Just use some of this stuff. I just can't carry everything, that's why I'm wondering, I'm hesitating so much. Pistol! Nice. You know what? Okay, fine, I'll bring the pistol. We start with a pistol, we end with a pistol. It's our ride or die. But of course, I'm actually gonna be equipping the rifle. Now, I don't have a stun prod or... I could bring a flashlight, but that thing said leave room in your school bag. Leave room in your school bag, it says. Oh god. <sighs> Here we go. Wait, did I do the wrong... Uh, whatever. Curious what this place is called. Oh lord. This is Ariane's home. 
It's not my home. Um, I'm gonna take out the flashlight just so we can look around a little bit. This room. Because I feel like it might be worth looking around. It's her own... Is it her rot front room? It's a bunk bed. Actually, on the letter, you can see that, the front of the letter, it says to Ariane, and her address is at Rothfront. There is a book here? Is that actually a book? Uh, okay, what? Alright. Okay. If anything happens, we'll just throw away some stuff. That's fine. I'm talking about not having enough bullets and all that. Okay. 